Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable the feature in the star menu to actually run a program as a different user. So, a little bit of a different tutorial today, kind of interesting honestly, and we're going to show you guys how to do that. So, perhaps you're an administrator account and you have a local account, maybe you just want to run certain programs with local administrator rights. That's pretty much the idea of this tutorial, so basically running it as a different user. So I believe if you're a local account trying to run something as an administrator, you would need to enter in an administrator password if you were attempting to do that. But if you're an administrator, I don't believe you need to enter in a local user account password to do this function. So just want to put that out there before we begin. This isn't going to bypass any administrator passwords on your computer to run something that an administrator doesn't want you to run. So that's not what this tutorial is about. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu. And please note, we're going to be doing this for Windows 10 Professional and higher editions. Um, there's a registry editor method. I really don't want to go over that for this video. So this is just not going to include Windows 10 Home Edition, but it should include all the other versions of Windows 10. Just want to put that out there. But anyway, so we're going to start by typing in local group policy. Best result should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Underneath the user configuration, you want to double click on the administrative templates folder under that. You want to double click on the administrative templates folder listed underneath of that. And then do the same thing for star menu and taskbar. And now on the right side, there should be something that says run as different user. So you're going to have to go down to show run as different user. It's, it's the letter S we got to go down to. So again, the letter S. There you go, show run as different user commands on start. Go ahead and double click on that. Set this to enabled and then select apply and OK. Now I believe you would need to go ahead and restart your computer for the change to take effect. So let's actually go ahead and just do that right now.
And if we were to open up the start menu, right click on a program here. If you select more, you see there's an option now to run as a different user. So you see now there's a new Windows security to run as a different user. You have to enter in the username and password of that account. So again, I guess it depends if it's a local or administrator account, but you might have to enter a username and password there at that point. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.